Hey, it's Tracy. We're here at the Panda Pass parking lot at the Jefferson National Forest. We're going to be riding Poverty Creek and then I think McDonald something or other. Um, I'll have to double check that. Um, Kevin has the loop. Hopefully we make it. Um, we're on Gateway Trail after the debacle to get here. <laughs> We're not doing good today. <laughs> we may never be seen. <laughs> the Gateway Trail is about two miles long with 871 feet of descending. Yeah. We uh, were supposed to take horse nettle, ended up somehow hitting off horse nettle, going up this god awful pumpkin power line climb. Um, had to take a dirt road. Somehow we caught back onto horse nettle and then. Lost horse nettle again. Um, and I mentioned that we forgot the map in the car, so hopefully we got a good charge on the, the cell phone. Um, anyway, this is the Gateway Trail. So far, so good. Poverty Creek is also known as Panda Pass Pond. This trail system has about 51 miles of trails, including the Forest Service Roads and Double Track. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Whew. Yep, got it, thank you. My just my favorite. Tight corners. Oh, look at that, that's pretty cool. Woo, Nelly! Oh boy. Oh boy. Thank you. Oh shit. Oh, oh I got it. <sighs> Woo. I would go low on that. Well, maybe high. I don't know. And now for a little bit of history. In 1948, Woo. James Panda Pass, a, a resident of Blackbird, made significant contributions to the town by going. bringing its first Great. two industries, electrotech and polyscientific. During that time, he purchased a 500-acre tract of land rich in Appalachian hardwood and pines located between Brush and Gap Mountains. Panda Pass had a vision to utilize the timber for development of affordable housing in Blackbird and Narrows. One notable creation of Panda Pass was an eight-acre man-made pond originally named Poverty Pond. Using only road grading equipment, he skillfully dammed five natural springs, resulting in the pond with depths of up to 14 feet in certain areas. Not content with merely having a timber source, Panda Pass saw the potential for recreational use of the land. He transformed the area into a private recreational area for his employees. The employees were granted access for hunting, fishing, boating, hiking, and picnicking. Panda Pass affectionately named the retreat Pan Villa, which unbeknownst to him would later be changed to Panda Pass Pond. In the 1960s, after selling the polyscientific business, Panda Pass decided to open the park to the public. Unfortunately, this newfound accessibility led to some challenges. It became a popular destination for all night drinking parties, resulting in the accumulation of beer cans and trash. Consequently, Panda Pass chose to sell the land in 1983 to the U.S. Forest Service. Hi. At the end of this trail, we headed over to McDonald Hollow, which is right down the road. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss us riding blunderbuss. Thanks for watching. See you next time.